if you don't know already, but Muratec are known for producing automated turning centers. But Simon, why is it essential in this day and age for companies to go into the world of automation? Uh, ultimately, Lindsay, it allows them to run for longer unmanned, it allows them to become competitive and keep costs low. So what is it that Muratech machine, well, what's special about Muratech machines? So Muratech have been doing for decades now automated turning centres with gantry loading. So behind us we have parallel spindle machines which allow quick loading and unloading of components, OP10, OP20 and finish, which again you can load up multiple billets and leave the machines running. Why have DP then gone for single spindles but also twin spindle machines? So DP started with a twin spindle machine. They started um, with a twin? Yes, they started with a twin spindle model, um, which um, they were doing an application where an operator was running two single spindle lathes, an OP10 and OP20. So we took all of that work and put it into one machine and gantry fed that. But they also have single op work that they do. So we were able to supply them a single spindle machine with the same gantry system, with the same gantry loader, which allowed them to produce that single watt part um, unmanned as well. So I love how they've gone from having one operator running two spindles on a single shift to now that same operator running six spindles. That's pretty incredible. Yes, and they've been able to do that very quickly. So they bought the first machine in 22 and very quickly within two years they've gone to six spindles. So they've bought four machines in less than two years? Yes. Because of the success? because of the success and what the machine's now given to them. It's freed up the operator, um, it's allowed them to run longer in the normal day, normal shift, but also at night as well now. So they're getting six to eight hours every evening unmanned. Benefits of the gantry? Speed and floor space ultimately. Um, there are other options, you can put a robot in front of a lathe to automate it, but it's much slower and it takes up more floor space. These machines will load and unload in five seconds. So traditionally, where were the machines and where are they now? So traditionally, it would be larger OEMs that are producing hundreds of thousands of components, but now within the range, our single spindle and our MWR, which adds a Y axis, plus or minus 60 mil, ultimately opens it up to companies like this that are a subcontractor that doesn't know what work are coming next week or next month. And the service is through Matsura? Correct, yes. So we treat it the same as we would a multi-pallet Matsura machine. There you go. So if you want to remain competitive, you need to look at automation. And, of course, you can consider the Muratech range from Matsura.